Today, we're gonna go over the proper way of replacing your high and low water pressure seals inside your manifold. A couple reasons to do this is for a leaky manifold between the body and the pump, or a drop in pressure or a combination of the two. So today, we're gonna start out by taking a five millimeter Allen and removing our eight bolts so we can get access to the inside of our manifold and our seals. We're gonna use a impact to take the bolts off. Now uh, it's good to know that this is the only time you're gonna use an impact. It's safe to take the bolts out, but when we reinstall everything later on, we're gonna use a wrench and a torque wrench. That way we have it set to proper specifications. So let's start. Now that we have our manifold removed, our low pressure seals have a tendency to stick onto the pistons, but we can just remove those out. And as you can see, all of our seals are gonna be down and inside the seal retainers. So we're gonna wanna remove those. We're gonna remove our low pressure seals that are left. We'll just take a pick, get these out. Once we've removed our low pressure seals, it's time to remove our seal retainers. We're gonna take our reverse pliers, get inside, and we'll remove all three. Yeah. Might get the uh, washer that comes out with it, which is fine, because that's just gonna be the next step, is removing the spacer washers and then the high pressure seals that are in. So take a hook, get our washers out, and then from there, our high pressure seals. Now that we have all of our seals removed and the retainers removed, the next step is the reinstallation process. We're first gonna wanna blow out the manifold, get any of the sitting water or debris that may have accumulated or settled down inside. So take a towel just for safety purposes and coverage blow out each area. The next step is to take our seals and work them in. If you see these, you'll notice that there is a bit of a flare on the edge, so they aren't gonna push right into the setting point for them. What we need to do first is make it so these are a little more pliable. So if you can set them in some hot water for a little bit of time, that'll allow them to become a little bit more flexible. And then during installation, you'll wanna set them kind of down in at an angle and then work the outer edge until you're able to push it down. So we'll start with putting it in at an angle and then using kind of a blunt point piece, we'll work the edges. till they're in and we can push them down just like that. So now repeat that for the last two. Now that we have our high pressure seals in, it's time to insert our spacers directly on top. And then from there, we're gonna put our seal retainers in. But first, every kit comes with a new set of O-rings that go around our seal retainers. So we'll wanna remove that old O-ring and install the new one. So we'll take our pick, move the old ones, and then use a dab of grease before installing them into place as well. And those should seat down just like that. Once we have our seal retainers into place, 
The last step on the seal installation is gonna be the low pressure seals up on the top. Wanna make sure orientation is lip down, flat face up. Again, just put a little grease. And these are very pliable and flexible, so they slide right into place very easily. Now that we have our seals in place, last step is to reinstall our manifold back onto the pump body. Now that the seals are in and it's time to mount our manifold back to our pump body, I always just like putting a little bit of grease on the pistons before installing it. That way it just makes it an easier slide on. Now those have some grease. Line up our pistons into their spots, push them into place. And now time to insert all eight of our bolts. And in doing so, we'll wanna use some Loctite 243 to hold these into place. So each bolt will get a little bit of Loctite. Once we have our manifold bolts hand fastened, we're gonna take our torque wrench, set it to nine foot pounds. And securely fasten these into place. Everything's fastened tightly into place. And if you noticed, I just moved mine in more of a diagonal motion as I fastened each point across the top of the manifold, trying to keep equal pressure around the manifold. So after this, it's time to hook up your water, test for any leaks, and get to work.